can have all the preps in the world, but if you overlook water, you're only gonna live about three days. Now today we're gonna take a look at one of the most abundant water sources that you have, and that's rainwater. Rainwater's free, and it's easy to catch. Using your gutter system or other means, you can harvest that water and use it in a variety of ways. This is my rainwater catchment system, and I have been planning this for a good while. Put this together pretty much in one day. I actually had to split it up because I got a late start, but it's, it doesn't take long to put together a system uh, to be able to um, utilize your rainwater. And you just go directly into your gutter system, which actually I went ahead and put up this gutter as well. So just put up this gutter. It didn't take me but about 30 minutes to set it up. Brings the flexible hose all the way down and then right into these 55 gallon barrels. And these barrels are from Tropicana. They have had apple juice in them. In fact, um, I haven't even rinsed it out because I'm gonna rinse it out as I fill it up. Okay, here you can see the gutter that comes around. I installed that. There's also a guard uh, to keep out a lot of the major debris. And then we just come down with a downspout. I used flexible tubing here all the way down. And then right here, and I left this unsecured for a purpose. Uh, it is secured. I do have it um, silicone sealed here. But this comes out. I have a grate in here. And this is really an adapter. It's like a very large adapter, and then it goes down to a smaller one. And I went ahead and set it in. The grate fits perfectly right in here and as you can see this collapses in as well um, one thing I do want to show you inside of here I have a small little screen and this was this was actually at Home Depot and Lowe's and it's just easy to just another way to catch to keep the water as clean as possible and really to keep it from clogging up this adapter here was actually a downspout adapter. And as you can see, it's just a piece that, it, and all this was just at Lowe's in the plumbing department. So it really wasn't difficult. I just kind of fit everything together as I was going through just to make sure that, um, you know, that everything fit. I ended up taking a second trip to Lowe's because I didn't have quite enough downspout. But as you can see, this really works well and it allows you to keep everything clean. Of course, from the grate, it's just straight down in. And then there's the water. Now these barrels come in a number of different configurations. This one is sealed. There's no detachable lid to it. And it does have these bungs here to be able to use. And I did use them. And what's really beautiful is that this is threaded. Even though it's you have to bust this cap out, it's threaded three quarter inch. So I took a regular PVC three quarter inch and screwed it right in there and then came in with an elbow and I'm going to show you that at the bottom but I wanted to show you and then you turn the barrel upside down these are the bottom sides of the barrel and that way everything comes out from the bottom and a lot of times people will put the valve right here which I, that actually I had planned to do that originally but I saw a couple of videos where it was showing it coming from the bottom and this keeps the water from stagnating down here and it comes all straight out and then into this tube set. Okay, here's a this is where I've got it hooked up with the PVC. I use three quarter inch PVC. Uh, it just made it really simple. Of course, glued it, primed it, and glued it together. And then came out with an elbow. And since I was using two, I went ahead and attached this spigot right here and then went back under. Here you can see the other side. And this is the same thing, just use the same setting, uh, three quarter inch, no big deal. So here you have the two that are coming out, and then it comes right here. There are some that'll put a cutoff valve here. In fact, I even bought a cutoff valve to put here and then decided against it, because I'm just putting the two here right now. Now one of the things you'll need to do is, is have a pressure release. And this is honestly a good pressure release because this isn't sealed and air can come through, but I also, put one here I just put the uh, pressure release the the uh, runoff overflow valve here so I'm gonna keep a bucket down below 
and be able just for this in case it overflows that it'll be able to pour out also I wanted to get it kind of up off the ground so I have two uh, two high cinder blocks so I used four cinder blocks each for each barrel and of course these barrels once they're filled are going to be pretty weighty so you're going to want to have something substantial under it and you'll also want it to be level now somebody asked me about why didn't I put a connection between the barrels but what happens is is the water runs down and fills the water will not it'll fill equally in both because water seeks its lowest point so water's going to fill up this tube, this pipe right here and then begin to fill these up equally all the way to the top and then the release will be over here on the other side now these barrels came from Tropicana they're filled with with apple juice and really I mean there's a special wrench you can use but this is sealed it even has a gasket so really once you punch out this little tab and I did it with a big flathead screwdriver got on the edge and just popped it it, it just mates beautifully I mean I love it and then with it already being one sealed unit I don't have to worry about leakage as long as I just seal my places and that's what I did I even went ahead and sealed around here with some silicone now to test this I filled this up about halfway uh, with my regular water from the from the hose and as you can see here I have a two gallon food grade bucket down here of course obviously you can hook a hose to this and that's really what my plan is but I'm going to show you even with the pressure you're getting a decent amount of pressure coming out of there of course I am on high ground from my garden and so my plan is is to take my hose run it all the way down into the field down there and that's where my normal garden is down below in that hill so I'm gonna be able to run and get gravity really behind it and be able to take care of my garden now one of the reasons that I prep is not necessarily for doomsday I prep and I try to prep sensibly and the one thing that I've done with this rainwater catchment system is that during the summertime our water bill can be as much as three hundred dollars a month and a lot of that has to do with our gardens and our flowers but it also has to do do with a pool and if we can harvest rainwater which is good potable water in fact it's even better for your gardens it not only is it great to have it as a prep in case there is a survival situation but it's also great to save money I spent about hundred and fifty dollars on this system in one day to put it together and this is going to save me over the next few years thousands of dollars so whether you live in a rural setting or an urban setting or a suburban setting, you can harvest your rainwater. There are a lot of great channels and videos on YouTube that talk about rainwater catchment systems. So find the one that's best for you and make sure that you put water as your number one priority. Other than clean air, water is life. And without water, you're not going to make it. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more sensible prepping and survival. God bless America. Long live the Republic. It's a great way to have water. Water that just comes from the city and it just, you know. Water is the life force. And as always, thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more sensible prepping 